didn't actually watch Cleo's path thing. Maybe he just gave up a couple of extra cans to Koro, which makes sense, of course. Two smite champions. Kakao might die. He might die. He has to smite it away. Does get it done and tunnels out and Cleo. Killer finds Kakao. They're actually equal on levels. We're probably just going to do a little bit of damage. Uh, Pawn's level 6 here, so Rookie has to be careful. Going to go in for the dive. Auto attack comes in after the ignite, and Pawn going to get a solo kill in the mid lane. Sting from Horrors looking aggressive. Yeah, going to go in for a dive there. Rookie going to get ulted back. Pawn will dive in and pick up another kill. And Kari comes in for a wonderful assist. And a lane. You can't use Devastating Charge to escape. Duckler is going to get caught, though. Knock up there coming through for Rex. Like a cow will get chunked down slightly by the Zapper. Picks up the kill. Clear love. Too aggressive checking for wards. And Dragon and Koro still not interested in entering. Oh, Rookie now two levels down. Pawn going to jump on top of him. Will get caught in rotation. Does get bounced back. But Pawn trying to find his way over. Will flash in there. But it's out of dives as Koro comes in and just swipes away the kill. And that was even better than finding a wild wolf camp. Takes the kill as well. Cow does pick up the Dragon. Yeah, might go down as a result. Pawn though getting caught out. Kitties will actually get the stun as the tie picks up the kill. Dragon goes over to Rek'Sai and Kakao somehow with a blinking red health bar gets away. Utility, but with the frozen mark can bully around a bit more and look at IG. They've gone on top of the Dragon, but the Teleport's going to come through. EDG, I don't think they can fight here. 4v5. The ulti goes in and Defty actually steals it. Deft steals it from downtown. Can't really say calculated on that one, but that was the result, and it's so important for EDG to pick up that first Dragon. The 6% stats will do so much work when they haven't really been in a shout of the first three. They're dropping in those attack and look for a fight. Does not make her back, and that's an insta-kill almost for Zatai. He now on the offensive as far as pushing goes. Going to take out the mid turret for themselves. And the pressure down bottom might cost them a few kills, though. Rest of IG are going to look to rotate. Your cow and tie have to run away. No port just yet. Actually, Koro's already used it. Looking for initiation. Goes on to Kakao. He'll get in range for a slow there. The reveal from the skirmishes as well. Koro gets the first kill, but a kill for a turret. I think IG will take it as well. But Clearlove will find him. There's a tie going to slow him down. And Clearlove throws out his ulti for a bit of a slow. Death going to come for the tie. He's going to go in 1v2 here. Death has to be careful. Gets to get nailed by a tromper. His mate goes in as well. Amazing reflex. Flash by Def keeps him safe. The tie will go down, but that's just IG's dragon. Def's use of summoners is beautiful to see, but it's being punished, as you mentioned, for the all important third dragon. And there's, of course, the super mega death rocket. Not going to happen twice. Get that Baron vision for the sneaky Baron you're speaking of, or whether it's just a mistake. Uh, rookie in trouble there goes down to Def. Actually gets. Bot back in there by Hecarim, I think he was threatening. Now Kid is getting poked down, but Pawn forced to get away as he's taken too much damage from Kid. Ty, remembering, what did we say during Champion Select? Initiation options from ADG almost completely absent. They're looking to trade, though, and IG might have to do it. An interesting trade here. IG will get that Dragon, but Kakao does use the smite. That's going to mean I, uh, EDG going to secure the Baron. We know that EDG really love to make their plays around the Baron buff, but that's an aggressive trade. Because poke trades don't work so well with these turrets regening health. Well, this isn't going to take too much longer. You have to think as EDG push in and get good hits every time they walk in. The wave clear not bad for IDG given their options. So impressive that they're able to keep these waves prepped out. But look at Pong getting more aggressive. Koro even rotates over just to get some more damage down. Will actually get good damage to the turret. Gets rendered, actually, but has to be careful. But IG have to give up pressure on the bottom side. That gives EDG access to this bottom inhibitor. And IG just getting run around a very small section of their base, but a very effective push by EDG. IG couldn't have known, but this is the last minion wave that will have the Baron buff. It will expire as this minion wave dies. EDG looking for the bonus. They know they're going to get the inhibitor. IG just had to give up more and more ground. And EDG, who were behind on us, is actually going to catch Pawnee, maybe. Good stuns coming through. Massive ultimate Pawn will distort away, trying to get out, but Rookie will finally claim revenge. Not much health to begin with, so not super surprising as IG Rookie. IG are going to pull all the stops to try and get a pick around this inhibitor turret. Yeah, Rookie also setting up a turret as well. As clearly, they've actually ulties just to zone them off, but they get the inhibitor turret. Kakao getting caught and taking a good chunk of damage, but Clearlove can't really get back around here, and IG slowly pressuring down the inhib. Now well and truly on top of it. It'll take a little while longer than they'd like, but Pawn's still not here. They managed to get it. The lack of wave is so apparent in this situation. Def looking for that first kill to potentially get excited. Corners respawn. Oh, Look at this. Corrid Porter, that was a problem. I wonder why Kakao used his ulti, but the turret's going to go down. Death gets a kill on Tana back in the mid lane, and Kakao's forced off the Nexus. Corrid might just win the game here by himself. A very savvy teleport by the Hecarim. He just has to play around Rek'Sai for a little while longer, and Kakao can't kill him. The Frozen Heart Spirit is keeping him alive. Kitty's here as well as the Devastating Charge coming through. Now Rookie coming in as Corrid ultis himself out. They actually do deny the Dragon. It's not back up yet, but the rest of EDG now on top of an exposed 
Zaxxas. 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 Yeah, they are going to try. Deft has a decent amount of help. Pong gets knocked back though as well. Koro back in on top of the base. Deft just needs to get in there for a couple of hits. Goes for the kills instead. Koro, they can't be broken. And EDG take away the first Nexus. Koro does his best ex peque with Hecarim of all champions. I was waiting for the Onslaught of Shadows over the actual Nexus just to do his best Riftwalk impression. But man, that was crazy. We didn't have the camera trained on Koro, but so smart. Notice the fact that they had multiple super minions pushing into their base.